Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned until the end for a special offer. Hello, dear friends. I hope your first month of 2022 is going well. Today, I have a charcoal portrait time lapse for you all, and it's the first ever portrait session that we've had in class. Most of the time, we do a full body figure drawing session, and uh, two weeks ago, we were lucky enough to have a session focused solely on portraits. And I also, as you all know, don't usually paint or draw men. So this was a really fun and refreshing change of pace. And I have to say, our model has a face that is super fun to render. He has very expressive features and his mustache was especially delightful. Oh, and by the way, I'll be uploading a 30 minute tutorial video of this portrait on my Patreon where I'll be discussing how I measured the facial anatomy, going through the entire process step by step. So if you're interested in checking that out, plus hundreds of hours of more exclusive art tutorials, just check out patreon.com slash happy artist. to be honest, I think before I started going back to art school, I pigeonholed myself a bit into portraying the same style and type of subject matter in my personal work. And I didn't really branch out that much, um, especially when it comes to portraying people. I pretty much only stuck to young, attractive women, or maybe the alien fantasy version of a young, attractive woman. But Ever since being at the Atelier and um, having just such a wide variety of models that we have to study from, I realize there's so much beauty to be found in every gender, every body type, every age group. And rather than just only perceiving beauty as what the media tells us is beautiful, you know, as a depiction of youth or sexual desirability, um, I realize that there's so much beauty to be found in just being human. Like from our anatomy studies that we do in class, we learned about all the unique muscle groups and the way our joints work and everything is so interconnected. It's almost like the human body is a very complicated, miraculous machine with all these small moving parts that all work together to allow us to you know, walk and sit and make art. And I'm really grateful for this new insight because I realized before studying the human body from this kind of crazy artist boot camp point of view, um, I only perceived beauty to be what society told me was beautiful, which is mostly rooted in trying to sell us stuff. You know, we, we want to look as fashionable or as pretty as models we see who are trying to sell us clothing. Um, we want like smooth, wrinkle-free skin because that's what the makeup or skincare industry wants to sell us. Um, there's so many things that we lose when we only pigeonhole ourselves into society or the mainstream culture's idea of beauty. When you step away from that and just you know, give yourself the time to look at each human being, admire them for their uniqueness and try to portray them in their accuracy. You realize that it's a profound thing to be human and beauty is not just in what can sell the most clothes or what is the most sexually desirable in a music video. Beauty lies in the simple experience of just existing and being a part of this world and being able to um, meet and connect with each other. I know I'm sounding really cheesy right now, but it's truly the type of things I think about when I'm standing in class for eight hours a day. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to share these new thoughts with you all. Hopefully I made some sense.
Okay, we are approaching the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching, for your encouragement, and for sticking with me as I try to ease my way back into social media again. I, I know I've been kind of falling off the wagon in terms of posting on social media consistently, and I'm just still trying to adjust to this new full-time student plus art career schedule, but um, I just want to say I appreciate all of you who've stuck by me and have been so patient and encouraging. And also, let me know if you enjoy seeing my art school content. I know I've primarily been focusing on portraits and people, but there are also a lot of other exercises we do, like painting spheres or drawing a pear. <laughs> um, so if you're interested in seeing some of those, I'd be happy to film them and share them. Uh, just to give you kind of a realistic glimpse into the type of assignments that we do. So yeah, feel free to uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also, as usual, my holiday sale that started, I think, in 2020 is still going on, likely forever. So if you want 20% off your order of prints and originals, just enter the code HOLIDAY at happyd-artist.com. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and even surprise art gift boxes. All available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. I wanted to quickly thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for supporting my channel and the art community. I've actually enjoyed using Squarespace for four years now to build and host my online shop and website. So whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and visit squarespace.com slash happydartist for 10% off your first purchase. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist. Mm -hmm.